Hey guys, this is Brian Barbosa. I am a computer science undergraduate student at the Federal University of Juiz de Fora in Brazil, and also I am a researcher for the Center for Research and Education on Aging, the CREA, on the University of California, Berkeley. In the other video, I presented to you how to send files and access the vocor using the terminal on the Ubuntu, the distribution of Linux. Today I'm going to present you how to do that on Windows. Windows has a graphic interface program uh, for doing that, so it's easier to do. I don't know if the program is available for Ubuntu, but if it is, I'm going to let it on the description of this video. Hey guys, there is one more thing that I would like to show you before we start. I forgot to tell you this, but you have to be connected to the Volcor network before we start. I'm so sorry guys. Let me connect here, okay? I'm going to connect to Volcor through a wireless network, but you can also connect to a wire through a wired-based network. There is no problem with that, okay? Here is the Volcor 2 network. I'm going to click here and click in connect. If you have a password on your Volcor, it's going to ask about the password, but mine doesn't have any password because I'm just using for a prototyping at home and there is no motivation for that. Okay, now I'm going to click on the connect button and wait. And now I'm connected to the Volcor and now I can start what I was doing. This is the program, let me show you. Um, it's, the name is WinSCP um, and it's available for free on the internet. I'm going to let the link for downloading uh, on the description of the video. And as you can see on the screen, the program is already logged on the Volcor. But if you uh, just started, you uh, downloaded the program and installed it, uh, you're going to see the first uh, open of a window of the program is going to be uh, like that. And for configuring the program to access and to send files to Volcor, you can use and the protocol uh, SCP, this one, okay? Normally it's going to be SFTP, but you, you want, you will have to use SCP, okay? The, the next thing I'm going to do is to put here the host name, which is also the uh, Volcor IP address. So I'm going to type here 192.168.61.1 okay and to the username I'm using the root so I'm going to type root here and to the password I'm going to use full core okay I'm not going to click on login because I already have this configured on my computer. The session is already open here as you can see. But uh, if you want to configure, you can now just click on login and uh, in some cases your computer uh, ca can show some uh, window asking for permissions and you can agree with them because that's what you want to do. Okay, okay, I'm going to close, but but if you want to connect, you you will use login. Okay, close. Now I have here on the left side my computer. Okay, this is a directory on my computer, and here I have the root uh, directory on the Volcor. The this is the files the files that were are on the Volcor. As you can see here. 
there, there is already a Blinklet file that uh, I'm going to use on the other video. Uh, but this is the tutorial for how to send files to Volcor. So I'm going to create an, another file here. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me open the directory. Uh, okay, just a second. I'm with the directory opened on another monitor. I'm just bringing it here. Okay. As you can see here, I have the same directory open here and here. Okay. Uh, if I want to, I don't know. Uh, let me create another simple file just to exemplify that for you. Um, I'm going to create a text document and name it um, test. Okay. Um, okay. I now I can open that and type anything. I love Lord of, Lord of the Rings, so I'm going to type bring your pretty face to my ex. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to save by ty typing Ctrl S. It's normal for everyone. And um, okay, close the file. And as you can see, the the test we created is here. Okay, can close it now. Uh, it's here. Okay. Now I have, as I said, on the left side my my computer directory, and on the right side the Volcor directory. For sending the file, I, the only thing we have to do is clicking here on Upload. Okay? If you click here, you can also press F5, as you can see here. Clicking on Upload, uh, it's asking where do you want to, to uh, send the file to, the directory you want to send the file to. I'm going to let, be, let it be just the root directory okay you can also type the name of another directory here okay it's simple but I'm going to let it like this and now I'm going to click on OK and because it's a very small file you can see that it was an instant instantaneous uh, transfer and the file is already here. Okay, Brian, but uh, I don't want just to send files to Volcor. I want to also access the Volcor as you did on Ubuntu Linux. So uh, I'm going to show you how to access the Volcor now. Uh, for this, I'm going to use another program. When I click to close here, I'm going. It's going to 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 show you if you uh, want to terminate the session without saving the workspace. I won't want, don't want to save the workspace now, so I'm going to click on yes. Okay, I close that and I'm going to open the, another program. It's the name, it's Putty. I don't know if Putty is a correct pronoun, but I'm saying Putty, I'm Brazilian, I'm not an English speaker, if the uh, pronunciation is wrong you can say on the comments below okay I'm open to learn but okay uh, this is the putty as you can see the name here P O T T Y and for accessing the vocor using putty I'm going to type here the IP address of the vocor 192.168 six one dot one and you have to be sure that SS8 is marked here okay don't forget about that and after that I'm going to click on open uh, it opened on the another monitor let me bring it here okay this is the screen that's going to show to you uh, it's a window asking for the login as I said on the another uh, the transfer tutorial on the same video I we are using the root so I'm going to type root here and it's going to ask about the password 
So I'm going to use um, full core. That's normal if you just uh, started your full core. If you change the password, you have to use the password you changed change it to. This is the initial screen that's going to print uh, on your screen, the full core screen. Okay. And if I type here ls, I have it will show me all the files that are on the root director. It works just like on Linux. Okay. I'm going to open it on full screen. Uh, okay. Uh, it, and it works. You're accessing the full core now. And okay, I think the video is it's just that I'm going to show you today. If you like the video, please click on like right below. Um, if you have any suggestions, any corrections, you can say that on the comments below too. And if you want to ask about any tutorial, you can ask on the comment too. Bye bye. Life long and prosper.